him having a boss. I mean, recently Amir Khan, who's an Al Heyman fighter, you're an Al Heyman fighter. Typically, Al Heyman fighters don't sign with promoters, but Amir signed with Eddie Hearn. Is is like when you heard that, and and, and also Danny Jacobs too. Danny Jacobs was actually the first to sign with Eddie Hearn. When, when you heard those two guys signing with the promoter, like, did that shock you? Like, were you surprised to hear that? Or? I don't know, man. I, I guess um, where I'm at, I, I can't say. Everybody's situation is different, you know. You know, my goal was uh, just to try to eliminate as many people out of my pot and with their hands in my pot as possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got a manager, you got a promoter, you got, you know, all these different things where they got job titles and all those job titles come with a dollar sign. And, mm -hmm. you know, for me, it wasn't important enough because I know, I, I know, I honestly, Al can give me those opportunities. I, I don't second guess that. I know that for a fact. So, you know, having a, a dialogue with Al and them, you know what I'm saying, to, to make sure that, you know, you know, when I'm setting goals for myself, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm reaching my goals. I'm looking for that. I don't know how much you can talk about it. I know yeah, signing I, I with promoters. Yeah, I don't really know. You know, like if I was to say something about his situation with Eddie Hearn, it's mm -hmm. a good thing Eddie Hearn wants to come over here. If there's money involved, why not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, um, I haven't had a promoter in a while, in a while now. I'm mm -hmm. kind of like self promoting You know yeah. what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like if I, if I have an opportunity to, to have less people in their, with their hand in my pot, then so be it. Right, right. Now, I'm not so big on um, having people's hands in my pot. I've been in that situation before. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel good to be in contractually signed with people that when it's time, like, man, all right, get your motherfucking hand on my pot, mm -hmm. and they don't want to get their hand out of their pot because you contractually involved with them. Right. It's not a good feeling. So, no, nah, but, you know, hopefully it brings them all the, the support and all the, the things he's looking for, having mm -hmm. that, you know, and the opportunities he's looking for. Um, he's a totally different fighter than he was when he first came out, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Able to take a lot more punches, you know, and, and deliver and come back with more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, the, the only reason why I wanted to ask that is, is is just because I know typically that's something that, you know, Al Heyman fighters, they, like, a lot of you guys aren't with promoters. And like you mentioned, I would think adding a promoter means you're adding a few more hands into your money. So I, I think his reasoning behind it was that he wants to be more active, I think, and he felt like Eddie Hearn could maybe get him more dates or something like that. But then I had to scratch my head again because I'm thinking, but that's what Al does. So I just talked to um, Gary Russell one night, and he was telling me, like, I fight when I'm whatever I get ready. I've been paying my dues already. I'm going to fight when I fight him up I got to. And for me, that logic made me think, you know, like, you know, after you come in and fight for the glory, mm -hmm. at one point in your life, the glory is going to get snatched away from you, from mm -hmm. somebody, a family member, fans, people, mm -hmm. media, whoever it is. But for me, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm a way different guy. They, they don't understand what's about me that makes me so different from all the rest. Mm. You know, like, Andre Ward, let's use Andre Ward for him. He's a true man of God. Mm -hmm. I'm striving to be that in my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Is that he's staying firm with God, read his word. So I been more on my, on my word, where it's kind of like making a transition to not making my life the star that everybody thinks. They want me to be, but being the star for God, for mm -hmm. his light and his truth. And that's one of the hardest things to do in the sport of boxing because the real stars, if you notice, they kind of controversial, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They rude, they arrogant. Right. People want to see them lose, especially if you're black. Mm -hmm. I don't see right. you lose. <laughs> right. And um, I'm not saying that it's always, I'm saying for most of the time we're black people, black, black stars, we, we hate it mm -hmm. amongst the people. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just trying to do my part of this, part of my career for God and not myself. Mm -hmm. So when I tell people that, they think it's like I'm, I don't want to, I want to fight less, or I don't want to fight as hard as I was. I'm actually going to fight harder now, right? Because I'm not doing it for myself. I didn't learn that doing it for yourself sometimes it's, it's cool and everything, but to be a servant for others, helping out other people and everything in life, you kind of, kind of strip yourself away from all the desires you have for yourself. Mm -hmm. So. I'm just in the. I'm in the. I got a clear path for what my destiny is going to get me, where I'm going, right. where I'm going to be at, five, ten years down the line. Right now, it's hard for me mm -hmm. because I'm still trying to like figure that out. But most importantly, I know that when I get to that destination, it's a clear one. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't, I don't see why there's anything wrong with that though. You know people, what I mean? People want to. People want you to say the things that they want you to say, mm -hmm. or they think you're supposed to say. 
Well, I just understood. This is what people do. Majority, when you're a fighter, people see themselves in you. Mm. So anything that you do that they wouldn't do, they hate it. Mm. Or they're going to talk bad about it. Mm. So most of the time, people don't like some of the decisions I make only because it comes from me and not from them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. you know, I think majority, I'm just trying to learn how to have my family, my kids, my wife, and enjoy the blessing that God has given me. But that's what I'm saying. Like, not everybody's goals are the same. Not everybody wants to be a star. Not everybody want to be a have a. Not everybody want to have a Lambo. Not everybody want fame. Right. You know, some people just want to provide for their family. And that's why I'm at. Right. And that's what boxing. It's uh, boxing. I think sometimes people forget boxing is your job. Right. Like, that's your job. You get hit in the face. Right. They don't never love you back. You love it, but it never loves you back. <laughs> they give you some great moments. Some memorable moments. Yeah. Some of those moments might come in a Pritchard Cologne. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Some of the other fighters that played their life and laid their life down. Mm. But for me, it's going to be a different one because I know God has got me. I'm thankful. And I pray all the things that I do is for him and not for myself.